everybody. So for today's project, we're going to be making a rocket pulley. So the only materials you need are everything included in your kit. If you would like to design or color your rockets, you can ahead of time. So crayons, colored pencils, markers, anything like that would work. So I'm gonna move some of the materials to the side. We're going to start with one, one side of the rocket and we're gonna flip it over. And we're going to start out with the two little straw pieces. So they're gonna get attached in the top part of your rocket. So you're going to use the two little stickers that came, I already punched them out, um, that came with your kit. And you're going to use them like tape. So you need to peel off the backing and then we're going to use that to attach the straws to the rocket. So I'm just gonna actually lay it across the straw, place it where I need it, and then kinda push down on both sides. So you're gonna essentially use it as, as if it was a piece of tape. Okay, peel off the other one, do the same thing. I'm just gonna push it over the straw and then just push it down on both sides of the straw and then that will hold it in place okay so the next step we're going to take our string and what we're going to do is our two ends we are going to thread down through the straws towards the bottom so that at the top we're left with a loop so the ends of my string have become a little bit frayed so I'm just gonna twist them back together Hopefully this will help me. And push that down. Once you get it started, then I just have to push the rest of it through. And once you see it come through, I'm just gonna pull it down. You can also probably trim the end of that if your string is a little frayed. Just take a pair of scissors and, and trim it. Then you don't have to worry about doing this, but this works too. So I'm going to twist the other one, push it down through the straw, kind of just feed it down in there, and hoping that it comes out the other side. Come on. It just started to come through. not having luck. I'm actually going to take this off. There we go. And I'm just going to reattach that. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to pull my strings, whoops, pull my strings down so that the loop is on the top. Readjust those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way so that I have the ends of the string and we're going to then take the two beads, whoops, that one went for a little ride, and string the string through the bead and then you're just going to want to tie maybe two knots to secure it so it doesn't come off. And with this one, you don't have to worry about the ends being too long. You don't need to trim anything. I'm just going to tie two knots. the same thing here. I'm just going to twist it a little bit so I can thread it through and then just tie it into two knots so it doesn't fall off. Like that. There you go. So now that part is done. Now the next part is we're going to take the two foam pieces that came in your kit and peel off one side, so there's it's sticky on both sides, and I'm gonna lay this one in between my two straws, move those. Now I'll peel off the other side, and then I'll take the other one, do the same thing, push it down, peel off the backing so that they're double-sided, so now I can put the other side of the rocket on. So I'm just gonna line it up and push down, so now those foam pieces create a void or a space in between the rock and it gives it a nice um, three-dimensional shape to it, a nice 3D look. 
And then that extra space in there allows your straws, or I'm sorry, your string to move freely without getting caught on anything. So how this works is you've just created a simple machine called a pulley. So once you're finished with your rocket, you can take it and hang it on um, a doorknob or maybe you have a hook or something up higher on the wall and you'll hang it and your rocket, well first it'll come down. I'm gonna try and demonstrate this for you, but it's laying flat. So when you pull this um, on a, a pulley, we use pulleys to help lift heavy loads. So it works in reverse. So the harder you pull down, the more energy you're pushing in the op opposite direction, or direction. So it helps you reverse the direction of your lifting force. So when you pull the ropes down, your rocket or your load, your weight will actually go up, okay? So when you have this hanging vertically up and down, it will move up when you pull down. So however much force you pull down will be how much force is going up. So um, if you have a longer string, maybe you have some yarn or something at home, you can certainly use a longer one so that you have a longer um, distance for your rocket to travel. So enjoy your simple machine and see how, how fast you can make it fly.